Ho, ho, ho. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Christmas episode. Whoa, ho, ho. Well, anyway. Hello and welcome back. Uh, it's been quite a long time. Apparently saved my last position, so... I guess we can just jump right back in and... Yeah, let's see what happens. Ah, you've moved on to a part of the manor where another type of dimensional rift is accessible. This is the Gravid Wolfram dimension, or Heavy for short. This dimension is in direct opposition to the Fluffy dimension and will make things ten times heavier. So, it's been a while. How you've been? I'm doing good. Just didn't have a lot of time. Uh... Been working a lot, and yeah, as you've seen, I've put out a new video. I'm currently on Christmas vacation, so I have some time on my hands, and I thought, guys, I haven't put out a lot of videos in the past few months, really, so here we are. Quantum conundrum, and I wonder what this does. Uh, left click. Forgot the controls a little bit. So I think we just put these boxes. Whoa. <laughs> uh yeah, I think we just put these boxes here, though I don't know if we can just generate more or if we have to look out for another one of these. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So that doesn't work. So I guess... So... Now just imagine how long it took me to lay all that out. Be careful. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just sort of... So... I guess it produces boxes for everyone you, but I've that are honestly <laughs> forgotten which dolly is hooked up to which power converter. Yes, I get it. I just have to put these on and see what which one outputs which boxes. So that works. If I only could pick those up. Hey, can you help me? He's a bit on the shy side. Give him some time to get Aww. used to you. So I guess. Whoa! I guess I'll have to mix them up and go for the opposite ones. So I guess it's these here make the heavies and these make the lighties. My mouse sensitivity is a bit high. Let's see if we can do something about that. Controls. Just, just a smidgen lower. Oh, and maybe disable mouse smoothing. Ew. Oh, wow, okay, that's so much better. You have no idea. Okay, light boxes, light boxes. Let's see, let's see. No. So, what do I do? How do I. <laughs> How do I get light boxes? See, I can't pick those up. And I don't recall seeing any f fluffy fires. up here? No. Is it? Well, that's just, just a drinking bird. And... Oh. Hold on. 
I don't even have to press all these down. I just have to get that one to put out boxes there and I can jump up. So that's the it's this one. Well, that was stupid, and I probably should take one box with me so I can stand on it. Yep, come on. Get it out. There we go. Now I get on. Well, I don't get on that. Okay, maybe. Huh. So if I can't get on that, how do I. Well, my brain is just derping out right now. I can't take a sofa. It's too heavy. And this is gonna spit out two again. Oh. Yep. I figured it out. Well, let's just see which one in the middle one is here. Uh, yeah. All these cables, follow, 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 follow. I think it's the second one over there, yep. And then I should move up. And we have a jumping puzzle. That's why this is open. See? <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> See? Now we go here, and we go here, and here, and here. Ta-da! Here we go. Some dimensions are tightly bound together, like the one we're in right now, and also the fluffy and heavy dimensions. This increases the odds that a dimensional rift between the two will exist in the same location. I see. That's... I don't know if that makes any sense. Physicists, please let me know. Comment boxes below. That even rhymed. Okay, so now we get to do it on our own. Oh no, fluffy dimension. Yay! Oh. Yay! Oh. Okay, so we get this over there. That red battery will provide enough energy to enable the ITS device to widen the heavy dimension rifts in this area. Yep. I get that. Put it in here, and then I guess it's Q? Yep. We can Q it up. Q. Q. There we go. It appears this dolly got <laughs> stuck on an infinite loop. How unfortunate. Oh. 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 I didn't mean to do that, but I guess that worked out here we go uh, I guess we yeah that works <laughs> I don't know why I dabbed out so much on that other puzzle there seems to be a large expanse of piles and pits filled with various random objects Yes. Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention to what you just said. And it seems that I fixed the texture streaming because textures now actually load in when we get near to the books, which is good, but I think we've already seen all the books the developers put in. So. No, not where you are. Here, in this confounded place. Oh, okay. I still don't know what you were talking about. Are those hard candies? They're a little... Fussy. Ugh. Pleasant. Hard candies? Oh, nicely Christmas themed. What a coincidence. Ooh. Lasers. Stairway to Fluffy. Okay. Now. Nice job. No, not really. Okay, come on, spit on up another one. 
With the increased density and higher melting points of items in heavy dimension, quadrangle laser beams are rendered rather ineffectual. You don't say. So... Okay, so I gotta get up there. Okay, so... Ah! Okay, yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Laser, come on. Damn it. Okay. Let's try this one again. Ah, oh, damn it! Like most things in life, timing is key. Yes, no kidding, asshole. Okay. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. There we go. And now, we can jump up here. If we make the jumps correctly. There we go. I came across Ike some time ago, oh. and he decided to follow me back to the manor. He's cute. I like him. Can I keep him as a pet? Huh. Okay. Moving on. Next area. Oh, collectible, collectible. I believe Ike stole these and hid them at one point. He's rather fond of shiny objects. So, now the question is... No, the question isn't at all. We just get these. Uh, no, come on. There we go. Not half bad. Thank you. Thank you. So, new books, new books? No. Roar. Frame rate drops here and there. It's okay. Nope. What do I feel like? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? As I was saying, why do I feel like these armors are going? to come to life at some point. Ah, this was once the family cat, Lord Widget Pompadour Fluffington the Fourth, or Widget the First. He somehow wound up in one of the Dolly cloning control units. I specifically constructed his monocle to fit him. Who knew it would be so impossible to find a cat-sized monocle? Preposterous! Sadly, Widget the First has since passed on, but his memory is alive. Somewhat. Uh-huh. Well, his memory is alive in Mr. Total Biscuit. So, I want to clarify that Dolly is great for cloning inanimate objects, but she's not entirely capable with organic ones. This is Widget's first generation clone. Mm hmm. <clears throat> I wonder what the following generations look like. What is that blue one? Oh, okay, we don't have Fluffy. So... Note that if you disrupt the blue beam, it should deactivate something. Ah, okay. Yeah, so we deactivate the lasers. And we get Fluffy! Thank you, Ike. Go here. And we get... Uh, Apparently this unit needs a little bit of work. Right. So... It just stays there? Okay, let's hope it does. And... 
then uh, whoop. there we go now to figuring out what we do with this. I'm not entirely sure how many DEDs of radiation that emits hope you're not looking to have children later 